patiently yeah a bit sad now we've only got three hens only three big ones now we had Ivana all right Doris Burp you two Ivana died yesterday she was egg bound and I think there must have been something more complicated going on as well because well, she died of it oh thank you whoever you are whichever one that is one out of three is not great, but one out of five actually, I don't. <laughs> there are five hens, but the two small ones, they are just merely just for show. They really don't ever lay eggs. They do, but like between the months of May and August, <laughs> not, not the best egg laying hen. Morning, Bentley dog. You're looking very beautiful this morning. Very beautiful and soft. He thinks I'm going to throw this egg for him. He's so stupid. Do you want to go in the field? Oh, you got your spirulina on your nose. Mmm. <laughs> I set the camera up, but will she stay still enough that I can put all of her get up on in shot? Hey. Somebody turned up in the morning and took all of my clothes off, like when we take their clothes off, punch them straight in the face. I want you, we can bring it down the floor. Never danced like this before. We don't talk about it. Dancing on, do not book it all night long. Shown in paradise, shouldn't talk about it. I want you, we can bring it down. Bit of a mo update. She is due at the end of. Come on, Harry Mary. Um. Well, she could have it any time from the end of April. She was inseminated on the 25th of May. And she is looking pretty fat in a great way. The good kind of fat, not the bad kind of fat. The vet said I need to make sure she doesn't get too fat, like too much of a crest. So apparently they uh, get too much like body fat, like crest and fat inside their abdomen. They don't have enough space for the baby and then you get a stunted foal. So you have to keep them at like a good weight and listen to them when they want to eat a bit more. But at the same time, not let them eat so much that they look like a whale. So that's the same for women, isn't it? Like allow your body's natural spread, but don't just become a couch potato and eat 20 hamburgers a day. That would be good. Hey, Rosie. She's much less miserable these days. She started off her pregnancy acting like a stallion, so luckily that has subsided completely. It's really strange. She mounted Kenko. She's nice, but she's not that nice. 
so majestic. Watchdog, always. So I just let Percy's mum in the gates. We might exercise Percy. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if she's got time, but we'll see. He might just go home and then I'll go and do him tomorrow. There would be no bother in that either. He's so laid back and easy going. It's so great. I'm sad though. I really liked having him here. I know he bangs me on the head a lot with his head, but he is really nice. We have to go home at some point. Oh, he looks so smart. Get covered in some more mud. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of him later. Mud monster. Causing chaos, no doubt. You can cause chaos wherever you go. really I get to see him next week but he's gonna have a holiday now he did some cantering the dog's barking again that's always what oh wait nothing they're barking at nothing of course as always great such idiots should I ride you now the uh, battery died on the camera so I just went to the tack room to get another one just put his reins behind his stirrup and he just stands there and waits. You're a good boy. You'd be a good pub horse. People ride their horse to the pub and leave it outside. You wouldn't even need to tie this one up. You're such a handsome, clever thing. Good boy. I've been watching you for some time. Can't stop staring at those ocean eyes Burning cities and napalm skies Fifteen flares inside those ocean eyes Your ocean
always got too many coats on when I get on this horse. It literally, it's like, it's, it's hard work. I'm not gonna lie, they will be lying because every time the transition isn't good, we just have to go really fast because he's so not off your leg. So you say you squeeze and he's like, well, maybe later. I kick him really hard and we go really fast and then we go again. And it is, so it is just labor intensive. He doesn't work particularly hard, but I do. But it's so much better than it was. And that's like canter transitions now more. The trot transitions are really good now. And the trot is really good now. And the bend both ways is so much better. And he can leg yield now better off both ways. And the canter is so much more not the wacky races. It's just, it is hard. He's big and young and green and he needs a lot of support. So here is the face of support. I've been listening to Billie Eilish while I was riding. She's amazing. I fell off a pony when I was a child and I did that. Every time now, every time a horse shakes like that, it really frightens me. Don't judge me, I'm only 26, but I'm still scared of being shaken off a horse. What is my life? We love Doris, don't we? So Obi has unfortunately injured his check ligament. So their check ligament somewhere attaches from the back of their knee. Is it that way or that way? One way or the other, but it's through here and you can see it's a little bit filled. So what I've been doing every day is he wears an Arquette Quine, I'll show you that. And then he also wears some super duper ice boots. Um, he wears those a few times a day to take the inflammation out and to keep helping it repair itself by getting the fresh blood to flow to the area. So I will show you our little routine. So he wears an ice boot on the bad leg. These are the best ice boots because they have this stretchy material over the top so not only are they really really cold but they are also they use compression but my hair looks nice in this what a shot so he wears this arquette quine um he wears it on his leg for a couple of hours a day it has like a cycle that it runs on it works with micro current technology so it sends um a microcurrent into them which helps them to regenerate their own cells it's quite new technology um, you can't like physically see it working necessarily but it has it seemed to be really good with his last injury so I use it on all of them if they've got if they're in need of any help with their healing process um, conductive gel I got this one from my ab belt obviously not but uh, I got it for Amazon was really cheap. Imagine me wearing an ab bell. Oh, no. I reckon my hair looks really bad right now and I have no idea because I can't see the screen. <laughs> Why am I so high fashion? So the ice boot stays on for 10 minutes. That stays on. I'll show you. This stays on for a couple of hours, you see it's got a green light on it. It means that there's these two connective pads under there that meet and then they send a cycle through them and it's really clever technology that I don't, not entirely sure the science behind, but it does seem to be great. And then what I do is I put this really nice old brushing boot over the top just to stop him taking the expensive piece of technology off his own leg. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hello, beautiful dog. You're lying like a lion. Oh, now you're gonna scratch your bum. Of course you are. Why are dogs like that? Quick lunch pit stop. I didn't manage to heat it up totally. Am I gonna die of eating a non-heated up vegetarian sausages? They're horrible when they're not heated up, by the way. Not recommended. Hello! We're vlogging today, by the way. Say so hi. Oh God's sake. And bad pants on again. Oh, Helen and the bad pants, always. 
a good pony. Stop now. So we'll just start by giving him a really good stretch. Well done, drop the right shoulder. Yours, not his. Good. Keep it forward, keep the swing. Yeah, so good. So th that was really interesting. So you were really getting him off your right leg, but then when you went to canter, you kicked him a two. He, you kicked him an awful lot with your outside leg. Back down to trot. Think about the bend here from your right leg, and now canter there. You see how much it has to be from your right leg, not your left leg. And then this is very, very consistent. And I just think that you need to get into the habit of using more inside leg and less outside leg in those transitions, because. You use a lot of inside leg to help him, and then you put a little bit too much outside leg, and then the whole transition gets a bit difficult. Good, and then down to trot. And one more. Yeah, very, very nice. How's that? Very good. So you can go through that pattern. You push him off the inside leg. He's got to canter from that inside leg without the outside leg swinging back because that just brings the quarters to the inside, which we don't want. Really nice. And the downward and then the stretch. Very good today, elves. Very helpfully wandering off while your mum's trying to loosen your girth. Yes, he's a good boy. You have to let me know how you get on on Saturday. New recruit. This is the new boy. Hi Leo. He's a bit smaller than the last one that lived in this stable. So I'm gonna catch the horses in and then I am going to get Obi ready and we're going to the vets to have his first bit of treatment for his poorly leg. Uh, he's having PRP. I will tell you more about that later. Come on, Cody. Why is that chicken never in the run? I don't know if you can see that, but Percy went out in the field without a rug on today. <laughs> Not here. This is at home because he's gone home now. Sit, chicken. Honestly, catch the chicken. Catch the chicken. Oh. Get eaten. See if I care. Bloody thing. What a look that is. The old split fringe. You are so high fashion, Kenko. I don't think I can film here though. I just don't, I'm not gonna try. So, I'll see you on the other side. That wasn't actually a very interesting uh, journey for you guys. Um, it, I couldn't have filmed it because I had to be quite involved, like holding him and being proper, the vets. Um, so he had a little bit of sedation and they took some, they took some blood from him, um, just from his neck and then they take it away and they put it in a centrifuge which spins around really really fast and it really splits the red blood cells and the white blood cells so that you get the plasma the good bit where you have the white blood cells that do the healing in our bodies um, and then they add calcium chloride don't quote me on that to that and then you inject it back into where the injury is and then locally around it so then what it does is it helps to boost healing and it can really help speed things up and make sure that it heals really effectively and you don't get any weak scar tissue or anything. <laughs> So 
also Obi under this bandage. As you can see, this one looks like some sort of tubular disaster, and this one looks a bit normal. So this one, this one, <laughs> this is the one that had the treatment. This is the good leg. This used to be the bad leg. Now this is the bad leg. Bloody. Obi would like to go for a wee in his stable. I'll just skip it out, mate, and then you can go and make a mess of it again. I've just been walking around for ages looking for Obi's rug. This, by the way. Don't hate. This is my nighttime hat. Can you can you you can see why, right? His rug. Apart from a short interlude. Alright. Good one. Chucked that right out the back window earlier. Good job it hasn't rained. Good boy. He's so tiny. Fit two of him in there. A sursing, a whacking between your legs. Why does that always happen when you carry a rug? It's like clanging between your feet. Oh, Kenka thinks I'm trying to kill her, as always. The contract of the year goes to her. One, two, three, four, five. Hi. Oh, <laughs> made Julie jump. Good night, girls. So that's the end of the vlog today. It's seven o'clock, I'm gonna go home and eat some food. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.